time now for Hawk Zone, sponsored by Muckleshoot Casino. For the second week in a row, it all came down to a field goal, but this time kicker Jason Myers missed the game winning kick and the Seahawks fell to the Rams 17 to 16. It hurts to say it. Terry Holloman joins me now in the Hawk Zone to break down this week 11 loss to the Rams. Yeah, it did hurt Ooh. to say it. It hurt to hear it. It kind of hurt to watch it. It I did. Mean, it, yeah. I actually left the room. Yeah, I left the room. I was at I uh, Rich Marriott's house. He's mm -hmm. a meteorologist here and he, like, he everybody was stressed. I'm like, I'm leaving. I can't. But the Rams only have four wins. Mm -hmm. Two of those have come at our expense. Yes, yes. Why is this such a tough matchup? You know, I don't understand it either. It's always been historically a tough matchup playing the Rams. Going way back to the early 90s, even probably the 80s. Um, one of my Ooh. friends, Marcus Trufant, uh, ex-Seahawk, always told me it was weird playing the Rams, especially down there, because they have a, a stadium full of fans, mm -hmm. but they're quiet. Yeah. And they're not—they're not really rambunctious and loud and crazy. They're and too cool for they're that. They're too cool in LA, right? Oh my but God, yeah. don't y'all. So, so it makes it a weird environment. But they simply have the the Seahawks number. Wow, I don't know what that is. Yeah. yeah. All right, a week ago, Jason Myers was the big hero. We loved him. So this is yes. why it's hard to be a kicker. That's why they're weird. That's why right? they're weird. Yeah, right. We've established this last week. If you missed that part, now you know. Kickers are weird. Um, but he, this time he missed a 55-yard field goal as time ran out. Mm -hmm. Do you pin this loss on this one? Poor kicker. No, no, you can't do okay. that. And then right. there's too much pressure that you put on these guys to come through in the clutch mm -hmm. at the last minute. First of all, Jason Myers was excellent yesterday before that point. He yeah. had two kicks that were over 50 yards. He actually broke the franchise record for most kicks over 50 yards. Wow. Most field goals made over good 50 job. yards. Okay. Yeah, so good for Jason. But in that particular instance, you know, he was under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. you, know, you come out and you have to make a 51-yard field goal to win the game after you've been kind of chilling on the sideline for a long yeah. time and you're trying to rush to get on the field. So you definitely can't pin it on him in a situation like that. Yeah. There were a number of different ways that the Seahawks could have prevented that from happening in the first place. Okay, copy that. All right. Yeah. So it seemed like the Hawks had control of the game. And to me, it seemed like they they had this, they were kind of dominating until Gino took that hit yes. by Aaron Donald and had to leave the game. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's talk about that and yeah. whether or not you think he's going to be ready. On well, so, so Gino started off the game incredible. The first mm -hmm. opening drive of the game, they drove down the field like 15 yard play, 15 play uh, drive, yeah. touchdown. It looked like the Seahawks were going to come out with an easy win, 13 to 0 in the first quarter. And then everything kind of started to slow down and fall apart. And then, like you mentioned, Gino comes down with an elbow injury. Aaron Donald, this big bully that plays for Los Angeles, he's a big bully, uh, put an injury on Gino and he had to come out of the game. And Drew Locke went into the game. Mm -hmm. and he had a couple of very unsuccessful series. And for all you fans out there who've been screaming for Geno Lock, I mean, uh, Drew Locke to be the quarterback, now you see why Geno Smith is the quarterback number one. He had an interception and a couple of stall mm -hmm. drives. And uh, hopefully uh, it wasn't too bad because Geno was able to put some ice on his elbow, sit down for a couple of series and come back in at the end and that almost lead the Seahawks to a game-winning drive. So hopefully he'll be able to get some treatment, get his elbow back in order this week and be ready for Thursday's night game versus San Francisco. Oh, yeah. gosh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it gives you a headache thinking about it, it right? Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. Um, okay, but defensively, the coverage was good. The secondary coverage was good. The Rams quarterback, Matthew Stafford, had a hard time finding his receivers. Yeah, look at that. You can see, look at his face. Like, you could tell he had a hard time right there. But yeah, the Aww, defensive backs, yeah. Fun. Yeah, Tarek Woolen uh, and uh, Witherspoon, Devin Witherspoon had great games. They had a couple of unfortunate uh, penalties late in the game that caused, uh, you know, the, the downfall of the defense a little bit to let the Rams get a touchdown. But mm -hmm. they played great. They had bend but don't break defense. They had a drive early in the game where the Rams drove down and tried to get a touchdown with four downs in the red zone and they kept them out of the end zone. So they played a really good game, but just unfortunately it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Oy. All right, who was your favorite player of the game? Favorite player had to be DK Metcalf this okay. time. DK Metcalf had a bunch of incredible catches. Look at this guy. He looks like a machine. Um, Adonis out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So he had 94 yards receiving on five catches. A big catch at the end of the game that really gave the Seahawks an opportunity to come through with a win at the end. But like we said, the kick didn't make it all the way there. But he had an incredible game. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, that picture was great. You're right. Greek Adonis. Yeah, I don't, yeah. He's I, mean, right. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's no T Hollow. I mean, no, I mean, obviously. <laughs> hey, there's a quick turnaround, though. How yeah. do we get psyched up for this big game on Thursday? 
They just have to get back to work. You know, take that last game versus the Rams and flush it, forget about it, and then just go to work on the San Francisco 49ers. Starting today, you have to start focusing on the next team. They got a short week. Um, they're playing on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. All eyes in America All are going to be trained on the Seahawks and the 49ers, so it, they have no choice but to get back to work right today focusing on the 49ers. So um, I hate to say this, but and I try not to admit it as much as I can, my husband is a 49ers oh, fan. Oh, how does so that work? So can I come to your house for Thanksgiving? I'm not oh, going to want to be at home. You are welcome. Do you have Thank any you. special sides you want to yeah, bring? Yeah, I'm going to bring sweet potato pone. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Okay, we'll take that. All, right. okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, all right, really quickly, we got about 40 seconds left. What do we need to know about the Niners? 49ers are a good team, one of the best teams in the National Football League. They're playing mm. good football right now. they got a great young quarterback in uh, Purdy. He makes plays happen, and they're just loaded at every position. They got the best running back in the game in Christian McCaffrey. The defense is loaded. Nick Bosa. These guys are incredible. So the Seahawks are definitely going to have their work cut out for them once again this week facing another tough defense. So hopefully Geno's back and ready to go. All right. Let's go. Good vibes. Good yeah, vibes. Good vibes. Okay. All right. Well, by the way, this segment of the Hawks Zone was sponsored by the Muckleshoot Casino. And I just learned that one of my favorite groups, Boys oh. to Men, ABC, BB. Hey. It's goes to Okay. Um, so anyway, they're coming to Muckleshoot <laughs> Event Center. I won't be singing on stage, but they will be May 13th, 2024. Tickets just went on sale. Uh, so visit the website on your screen now before this one sells out. I just took care of your holiday shopping for you, so you're welcome, thank Terry you. and I. Thank you. I'm like, maybe that's what I'm getting you yeah, for, you, for the holiday man. season. Surprise. There you go.